Hi, my name is Brianna, and welcome to my reaction commentary channel. Today we're going to be reacting to season 2, episode 2 of Bridgerton on Netflix. Now, I'm going to admit that I may have judged Anthony a little harshly in the first episode. It has less to do with him and more to do with the fact that I reviewed Squid Game and Euphoria before this. And now I'm like in Bridgerton land and I need to change my perspective. So, sorry about that. But before we get into it, if you could do me a quick favor, if you could like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications, follow me on all my social media. That way we can skip the chit chat and get straight to the good part. Any suitor wishing to gain an audience with Miss Edwina Sharma <laughs> must first tame the rather prickly spinster of a beast, otherwise known as her sister. Lord Bridgerton is quite adept at conveying false first impressions. What did you hear? He stated rather clearly that he seeks a wife only to fulfill his duty and in fact does not believe in love at all. Does Miss Edwina return your affection? <sighs> not yet. <laughs> She would have done if it were not for the, the sister. Every rose does have its thorn after all. Of course, the only competition that compels my oh. attention is the game of courtship. So best of luck to this year's players. Do try not to stumble on the starting line. Anthony's eyes are always like on level 10. <laughs> Miss Sharma, am I to be kept at this threshold all day? Lumley's already had an inordinate amount of time with her. That is because my sister is so in raptures with him at the moment, and you wouldn't want me to interrupt your discourse when it is your True. turn. True. Would you? <sighs> I'm afraid you are much too late, my lord. You now find yourself at the back of a very, very considerably long queue. At the back. <laughs> As I think of it, she may be free. Oh. After December. <laughs> Unless, of course, she is on her honeymoon by then. Okay. I like them together. I not discourage her, Penelope. If she has taken an interest in Lady Whistledown again, perhaps it means she's interested in what she has to say about the season's available gentlemen, too. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I cannot think of any cleverer way to say this, but no. Um, but someone more like Colin. Colin. Hey, Colin! Not, not Colin, Colin! Glad to see things have not changed. <laughs> okay, Colin came through with a little bit of peach fuzz. He said, I am a traveled man, okay? Well, I miss you all, what can I say? <laughs> Oh, that vest, Benedict. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, with the eyeballs. I believe we must get you to the doctor post haste. This strange, fuzzy growth on your chin is no doubt some kind of disease. Mm, right? Colin, you returned. <laughs> Even better. Family, I should like you all to ready yourselves for the races today. We will be attending United as One. I told him it would never do, Mom. Oh, he insisted. It is bad. It. Is that Cousin Jack? It's a horrible. <laughs> oh, now that looks splendid. Sir. Blimey's up the place, yes. Ooh, ooh. It is a happy addition, my lord. Though perhaps happier in your own bedchamber. The co- Ooh, Lady Danbury, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This outfit. It, my sister already has an escort for today, Mr. Dorset. That is very well, though I was hoping to speak with you. How are you I mean, I understand that she is going to get with Anthony, but really should. London is a far cry from Bombay. That hat. It is where you travelled from, yes? Yes. I have visited. It's a wondrous place. You must miss it dearly. Oh, every minute of every day. Uh oh. Okay, wait. I like him. So, what's wrong with him? Eloise, are you listening to me? What do you have in your hand? Nothing, Mama. It's only a pamphlet on new methods for the tidying dogs, apparently. Well, a lady is allowed her hobbies, is she not? Thank you. Uh oh. <laughs> Something has caught Eloise's eye, but it's not a man, unfortunate for her mom. Lord Bridgerton, Miss Sharma, Miss Edwina, Lumley. How delightful to see you, my lord. Lord Bridgerton, allow me to introduce myself. Mr. Thomas Dorset. Miss Edwina, I was hoping to call on you this morning. My sister is well aware of everything. <laughs> but but I promised my family I'd join them for breakfast. We're exceptionally close. Break our fast together quite regularly. Oh! Yes, Lady Danbury in the back, <laughs> peeping everything that's going on. Though none quite as inviting as the Bridgertons. My mother's been wanting to come and enjoy another tea at Bridgerton House for some time, my Wait, lady. now I don't trust him either. Edwina, 
allow me to fetch a lemonade for you. Oh, that would be most agreeable. Thank you, my lord. What in the world? No. Did Anthony pay these guys? Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> it's a splendid day for a race. Yeah, she's like, oh, please notice me in my very bright yellow. Colin, what's up? I had wanted to hear more about your travels. I thought you would have been bored of my travels by now. You read and replied to more of my letters than anyone else. I suppose I did, though there was always so much more to say than one could put on to They're so cute! I ship it. I want it to happen. Well, I was never on my own, of course. I see. Hey, you met someone. And I finally found you. You always do. <laughs> you look a of ours that you're already in my way. Penelope is like... How Girl, I'm getting tired of you. Yeah. I believe I've made a discovery. Whistledown's new printer. It's impossible. To mere mortals, perhaps, but I'm beginning to sense my true power now. Do you notice anything about the way this pamphlet feels? Like paper? Precisely. The paper stock is the same texture as that of Whistledown. Does not all paper feel the same? <laughs> Eloise, the detective. I need a spin-off. Eloise, trust your gut. You already know. You already know. Lord Lumley seems to have got lost on his She is so home. bothered. <laughs> I'm happy to search for him. It was the Viscount who insisted on refreshments. Perhaps he might go. Which one is your pick, my lord? Between her. Nectar. Well bred, highly trained, and well favoured. Nectar, really? Yes. I have a feeling about him. A feeling. <laughs> Pardon me? Oh, their natural competition with each other is actually, like, just delicious. <laughs> They're going to argue all the way to the wedding altar. You think too much about it. Indeed, too little. It seems your guest has caught the attention of the Viscount, Lady Danbury. It would seem so. <laughs> you do understand that as Miss Edwina's sponsor, I should like to remain neutral until she has made her choice. Of course. But as your friend, I will tell you, there may be uh -huh. an obstacle in your son's path. The elder sister seems set against the match. It seems Miss Edwina desires a love match, something the Viscount clearly does not. <laughs> My apologies for the delay. Not to worry. Lord Bridgerton has been keeping us entertained. I'm quite certain he has. Okay, Anthony is so paid, these guys. This makes no sense at all. Yes, I'm now high fly, steady! Yes. Steady! Steady! Put the high fly, Come on! Okay! <laughs> you think? Yes, I'm having such fun. The intensity. Get it. <laughs> Get it, Kate. You know what, Kate? Come through. Stop hurrying like a newsboy. Don't let her cheer. We were one today. <clears throat> I've never bested a bike out before. Beating you feels the same as any other win, but I mean, somehow smells sweeter. Kate, does nectar not remind you of the beloved horse I used to adore? Do you remember the one? Oh, take my arm. I'll take you down to see him. Oh, take my arm. Excellent idea. I like that. Okay, I like that. Miss Sharma, I must say, okay. why do you... The Viscount does not like to lose. He's never stomached it, even back at Oxford. Oh, Miss Sharma, I... Uh... You and the Viscount know each other from Oxford. I thought you met today. I have said too much. You are going to say much more this very moment. He thought that you would judge me if you knew we were acquaintances, but I must assure you that my interest in you today was genuine on Genuine my in the sense you were sent here to distract me, or so Lord Bridgerton could get closer to my sister. Mm. Leaving. Uh, I've heard of a sore loser, Miss Sharma, but never a sore winner. Do not speak to me or my sister ever again. What has happened? It seems a second game was afoot today, and Lord Bridgerton made certain I play the fool. Let us go. <coughs> I mean, Anthony, benefit of the doubt, it was a good idea. You just hired the wrong actors. And Lady Danbury and Lady Bridgerton heard everything.